Mykola Malamuz, general of the Ukrainian army and former head of Ukraine's foreign intelligence service, asserts that recent successful strikes by Ukrainian forces on Russian airfields reveal a significant gap in Russia's air defense capabilities. He shared these insights on Espresso TV. Ukraine is shifting its war tactics. For weeks now, our defense forces have been systematically targeting Russian military sites. We're deploying long-range drones capable of carrying various payloads from 40 kilograms to 500 kilograms. These drones can strike significant military targets, aircraft, airfields, control systems and ammunition depots. This will cripple Russia's ability to strike our forces, Malamuz stated. The general emphasized that these strikes on Russian airfields need to be continuous. Our strikes on Russian military airfields must also hamper their strategic aviation operations. These bombers launch attacks on our territory from airfields in the Murmansk region and beyond. Systematic strikes on Russian airfields are crucial as they threaten the destruction of aircraft and fight control systems. For instance, the airfield in the Murmansk region is over 2,000 kilometers away. Notably, the Russians lack robust air defense at these airfields. Only now are they beginning to bolster anti-aircraft defenses around their airfields, he added. Recall on July the 27th, drones from Ukraine's main directorate of intelligence hit a Tu-22M3 strategic bomber at the Olenya airfield in Russia. Ukraine's main directorate of intelligence noted that the Olenya airfield is located 1,800 kilometers from Ukraine's border. Defense Express military expert Ivan Kirichevsky pointed out that this attack on the Olenya airfield set a new distance record for Ukrainian drones. On the night of August the 22nd, drones targeted the Marinovka military airfield in the Volgograd region. Local authorities reported a fire at a Ministry of Defense facility. Recently, Ukrainian drones have struck the Marinovka airfield in Russia's Volgograd region, which the enemy is actively using to bomb the front line in Ukraine. Security Service of Ukraine destroyed warehouses with cabs and fuel at the Marinovka airfield. Local Russians complain that after the attack by Ukrainian Special Operations Forces drones, their military airfield looks like a scene from an apocalypse movie. At least three trucks transporting military products from Poland to Ukrainian armed forces have burned on the way. The trucks bound to Ukraine contained helmets, body armor and boxes with mortar charges for the Ukrainian armed forces, Russian media has reported. Residents of the surrounding villages of Alexandrovis and Murovitz have said that the explosion in the trucks occurred over the course of two hours. Video footage of the fire and explosion has been published in social media. The firefighters were unable to promptly extinguish the fire due to the explosions of the ammunition. As a result, a large amount of military aid bound to Ukraine burned out completely. The sound of flying fragments and detonation can be clearly heard in the video. The villages are located in southern Poland. The trucks were traveling along the A4 motorway, which is part of the Krakow Bypass Road. Nearby is the Krakow Ballas International Airport, which, in turn, is located next to the 8th Air Force Base of the Polish Air Force and jointly operates a runway. A missile attack was launched in the Rostov region of Russia. Local telegram channels reported on this. It is noted that on the night of August 21, units of the Ukrainian Navy, in coordination with other defense forces components, struck an S-300 anti-aircraft missile system near the town of Novoshaktinsk in Russia's Rostov region, citing the Ukrainian general staff. The military confirmed that explosions were observed at the target locations, and the accuracy of the strikes is currently being further assessed. Russian forces frequently use S-300 systems not only for air defense but also to attack civilian cities in Ukraine, leading to the destruction of residential buildings and terrorizing the civilian population.